the Simmer Plate Listed Handicap Chase is next up. And two miles and six furlongs, 0 to 140. And it looks pretty dark. Profit Clyde and Saxon at the top for David Robertson. Russian Sunrise, Craig Beckwith. It's a myth, David Hooney. Le Canto, Darren Thompson. Sapphire and still no place to go for Martin Needham. 15 love, Graham Clutterbuck. Oscar Trickster, Stu Gray. Dress rehearsal, Paul Rhodes. Adjard Sinner. Derek Hinton, Queen Athena, Paul Rhodes, Mammal Crossing and Popland for Matt Cooper and Rab Corbett for Alex Cherry, a field of 15. Nighttime racing at Market Raisin or something. This is crazy, this. <laughs> it's dark and stars are out and all sorts. Well, here we go. You said the season couldn't get any wackier anyway. Mammal Crossing is the first to show from Oscar Trickster and Rab Corbett. We're in the wrong silks. Who cares? I don't care anymore. One more crosses in front. Rab Corbett second. Oscar Trickster is third. Then comes Le Canto on the outside of Sapphire and Steel. And then Russian Sunrise wide on the track. And towards the back, Adjahad Sinner is at the back. I think they, they are actually. Darren Thompson's, I can't really remember, but they're already over the first two. This is the third. And they're all safely over it with Marmol crossing the clear leader. Already at the third, I thought they jumped through already, but there you go. They have now. And there you go, yeah. Never thought you'd see this, did you? Nighttime racing at Market Raisin. I think we're at Market Raisin. <laughs> For that one they go, that was the water. Hopefully they won't jump that the last time round. Ah, oh, it's end of term frivolity, that's all I can say. Marmol crosses in the lead. Rab Corbett is second. Oscar Trickster is third. Then Russian Sunrise and Licanto. With Sapphire and Steel, then Saxon and Profit Glide, 15 lovers after that one. Then Agile Sinner and No Place to Go. Dress rehearsals after that, then Poplan. It's a myth, and finally Queen Athena. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one running the wrong silk, so I've got John Morgan's on. And Alex Cherry's has gone then, so too has Saxon for David Rawson. So Rab Corbett for Alex Cherry, and Saxon for David Rawson have departed at the 5th. They're now over the 6th, and heading towards the 7th with Mammal Crossing, five lengths clear. With Oscar Trickster in second. And Russian Sunrise is third as they get over the seventh. Which they're all safely over. And no place to go on. Profit climb the Cantos after that one. Agile Sinner. Just a mile and a half to go on this starry, starry night. Marmol crossing is in the lead. Oscar Trickster and 15 Love Share in second. No place to go, just poking between the two of them in fourth. And Russian Sunrise and Prophet Clyde. Le Canto and Agile Sinner are not too far behind. One of them might well be Derek Hinton's Agile Sinner. I think is a Derek Hinton or Le Canto, I'm fairly certain is a Darren Thompson. As they get to the eighth, which they all Successfully negotiate with Marmol Crossing, continuing to lead. Oh, he went right through the ninth and was looking to get away with that. The Russian Sunrise, 15 level, no place to go, getting closer over the tenth. Back up past the stand again. And there's still people texting me and things. Goodness knows what time of night as they get over the water. Russian Sunrise and Marmol Crossing. Oscar Trickster is in third, 15 love is fourth. Le Canto and Ajahn Sinop, no place to go. After that one, and then Prophet Clyde. With the dress rehearsal, and it's a myth. With Poplar and Sapphire and Steelers drop right towards the back as well. And they're well inside the final mile now. And Russian Sinop, and Russian Sunrise has come to join Mammal Crossing. With Oscar Trickster back in third. 15 level Le Canto as they get over this ditch. A really good jump there by dress rehearsal. I've seen that one move into a more challenging position. One or two of them now being shook up to make a bit of an effort to move into a challenging position, but it's Russian Sunrise who's got first run on everybody else as they come down to the fourth last. Over that one. There you go. Over it safely. Russian Sunrise in the lead. 15 lovers in second. Then Le Canto and Mammal crossing Oscar Trickster. And a bit of a gap to. Sapphire and Steel, dress, dress rehearsal and 
agile sinner, it's a myth. Trying to get into it as well. They're really tightly packed though. We need the just three to jump. And it's a myth in the purple jacket going round the wide outside, giving away a bit of ground but making some forward progress at the same time. But Russian Sunrise is the leader. Dress rehearsal is second. Then Lecanto and no place to go. Then a bit of a gap to the three on the wide outside. Ajahn Sinner, Queen Athena, and it's a myth. They come down to the third last. Now there's only less than two furlongs to go. They've still got three to get over. And over it they go. And Russian Sunrise landed in the lead from Lecanto in second. Then comes no place to go as they get over the second last. And it's Russian Sunrise who's going for home from Lecanto and no place to go. Over the final fence they go. And it's Russian Sunrise who's clear profit global a faller but Russian Sunrise is well clear he's going to take this one up towards the line Russian Sunrise is going to win it it's going to be Lecanto second no place to go third it's a myth hatch hard to them 15 level Oscar Trickster all the way back to Marl Moore crossing so Craig Beckwith who's had I would say probably his best season on the jumps certainly big race win wise when he Won all those big races, week one, grade one races over in America, and again came back and won the Gold Cup, so he's had a great season, Greg Beckwith, and if that's his last winner of the season, he won't be too disappointed. Uh, Russian Sunrise the winner. Lecanto for Darren Thompson, second. No place to go, Martin Lidham, third. It's a myth, David Hooley, fourth, and Ajahn Sinner for Derek Hinton, was fifth. 